Hey, welcome back to Dove Survive. We're still on Minyana March. And Goku, you're here this time. Uh, well, I, I, yeah, there, you're like cut half that out, so. No, I'm not. Oh, that makes sense. <laughs> um, yeah, so this time doing another obscure thing for Koisen. An OVA called Koisen. Um, yeah. So, let's get into this real quick. I don't see this one being very long, and then watch, it's gonna go on for eight years. Koisen was an OVA released by Sunrise, people behind Gundam and Code Geass and stuff. Uh, Wikipedia says 2000, but other sources say 2011. Being as how Wikipedia is Wikipedia, I'm inclined to believe the 2011 part. Anyway... It was done by director Shuhei Morita, who did seasons 1 and 2 of Tokyo Ghoul. You know, the only time that show is actually remotely watchable. Anyway, Sentai would license the OVA and pair it with another Sunrise OVA titled Five Numbers, which we weren't going to cover, but, uh, the One Piece failed me on that one. I mean, uh, yeah, we just decided not to this time. Yes. Especially because this OVA is really short, but... Either way, whatever. Oh, the plot of Koi Sent. Goku, did you enjoy the weird shit we sat through? Drugs. Drugs, indeed. So, the plot involves Shinichi on a school trip with his friends as he fantasizes about his favorite idol. When suddenly a white deer makes off with his belongings, don't don't ask. The white deer could also grunt and go. It almost sounds like a horse. And upon chasing the deer, he ends up running into Toto, a robot waifu who escaped the lab she was being kept inside of because she wants to see the outside world. This almost feels like Discount Metropolis to me, kind of. Anyway. What follows is Shinichi now learning what love is, and the toaster Toto learning what love is, and the president of the lab and uh, her associates going after them. Yes, if you read the cast list, I said her. I'll explain it in a minute. And, yeah. Will Shinichi and Toto be able to understand the true meaning of love and escape the president's clutches? It's only 25 minutes, so... You all could go from there. The story does feel a bit rushed for that reason. But, yeah. So, aside from that, animation, Goku. Was it good or was it dog dick? It was good. Oh. I don't know, man. Drugs. Drugs. Drugs indeed. <laughs> Yeah, well, it's a Sunrise OVA. I don't think Sunrise produced anything that looks bad. As far as the OST goes, um... It was... okay. Nothing really to say about it. It's just generic. Nothing memorable. A couple of licensed songs, though. Including non-dubbed singing, because that's Sentai's M.O. You get a part where Toto sings, and it's not dubbed. That's your favorite part, right, Goku? Speaking of... things, they get licensed to they can sing in English but some of them they don't want to yeah <laughs> fucking Sentai <laughs> few of my favorite things they couldn't even dub that song in one of the other shows getting off topic though so yeah speaking of dubs let's get to that the ADR director was Matt Greenfield who also voices the white deer making the strange noises <sighs> of course the script writers were Tiffany Grant, that's different, and Stephen Foster. No, you don't get anyone saying the word gay or fig in this dub. This is a wholesome show after all. But let's get to our cast. So first, we have Shinichi, our main man, voiced by Vic Mignogna himself. The fact that he was still working with Sentai in 2011, that's when Sentai released the Sonoff, I mentioned it earlier or not. Um... Is definitely nice. I didn't know he worked there this long. And, I mean, it's your typical Vic role. He's Shinichi's just your nerdy, average, everyday dude who wants to meet a hot chick someday. That's it. He's 
the average normal blah 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 kind of a dork but yeah Vic brings him to life and has fun with it there's even a scene where he's alone with Toto it's like I don't know if I should kiss her or not and then he has demon and angel voices in his head more or less and the angel's like no don't do it and the team's like yes you should totally do it and Vic has to do three different voices there so that that was that was pretty funny again typical Vic role he had fun after him, we have Toto, the main toaster waifu, voiced by Lucy Christian, who's never voiced a toaster before. Not Regan Made in Abyss or Cosmos in Zenosaga's anime. Definitely not. She's also Nami in One Piece. Speaking of which, did you guys know they dubbed that three-way crossover with Toriko and DBZ? Did you even watch that yet, Goku? No. <laughs> well, they only dubbed part two of it. That's topic for a different day, though. Lucy Christian does fine. Again, her character is the one that has to sing, but she can't sing because fuck ADV and Sentai. Seriously, license to dip songs gonna sing, man. Is that too much to ask? Maybe Sunrise were dicks and wouldn't let them. Again, she does fine. Typical, her playing the innocent waifu type. After her, we have the white deer. Who I already said was Matt Greenfield, Makoto from the old dub of Evangelion, and Earthquake from the Samurai Shodan movie. Bless you, Goku. I'm guessing you sneezed. <laughs> and uh, yes, I mean all he does is go. So it sounds like fucking Scooby Doo on crack. And the thing screeches like, ugh. <laughs> Every time they think all the deer. Ew! Do that word high pitch noise. Yeah, I don't even fucking know, man. It was drugs. <laughs> uh, it was drugs. Yeah, this show is fucking weird. So it gave me like comment on the white deer. It's like, cool, he's a deer. After him, we have best friend Kuhn, who's barely here, but I might as well mention him because we barely have anyone on this cast list. Specs! That's, that's Shinichi's friend. Voiced by Greg Aris. Negi from Negima. And Tsunohara from Clanid. His whole thing is, You want to meet hot chicks, man? You don't understand. You don't need to be devoted to one girl. You just need to be devoted to the idea of waifus. That's basically it. He's only in the opening and beginning, though, so fuck him. Anyway, it's typical Greg role. But the real one to go for is our main antagonist, Madam President, voiced by John Gramillion. Nihawk from One Piece and Makoto from RE88. But yes, just imagine Nihawk from One Piece voicing a woman. Yes. <laughs> oh, I don't even know where to begin. But yeah, so he's ham as hell. Or she or... Okay, John Grimillion portrays this character ham as hell. He's over the top and I just uh, silly cartoon villain. You all know what to expect. So, I don't have any complaints. He he did he had fun. He was given a script, did his job. I was like, you idiots! You need to find her immediately! Yeah, I created her! Yeah, he was the scientist that created Toto. Don't let us see the outside world, man. And then the two lackeys. The two lackeys were Blue Brother and Yellow Brother. Blue Brother is played by George Manley. Impact from Going On. Just covered that, actually. And Isaac from Log Horizon. And I'll cover Yellow Brother too. He's voiced by Mar Mark X. Leskowski. What a name. Uh, Orgata from Angelic Lair. And Statch Slime from My Isekai Life. That show was not very good. I'm sorry. It just it, it wasn't. To me, they both sound like Raccoon from DBZ. Yeah. Now, these two... I, I list them all because they're both basically the same character. They're twins. And they're like, yes, we, we do that. <laughs> They, they, he's ba they're basically both Raccoon from the Funimation dub of DBZ. You know, the one that made mm -hmm. Raccoon a fucking idiot? Yep. They even call Madam President their mama. Yes, yeah. mama, we do it. We do it for you, mama. Like, that's that's literally their whole dialogue. Sorry, mama. I was, I was hey. just waiting for I was just waiting for him to do with the Raccoon whatever hell is. Raccoon kick! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And as far as ad voices, I mean, Greg was a couple, George Manley was a couple, uh, Mark was a few, so yeah, they typically, they didn't want to get anyone else in the booth for this show, clearly. I mean, it's only 25 minutes, so 
Notice Hillary had got voice in there too. But that's basically it. There's not much else to say. It's an obscure OVA that I don't even think is on high. I wish we couldn't find it when we try to look in. And yeah. Should you watch it? I mean, if you want to see Vic star in a romance with Lucy Christian, I guess it's only 25 minutes, so you wouldn't be really killing too much time. Just, yeah. I don't know what else to say. It's a forgettable OVA I'm probably not going to remember after this video goes up. Except to reference the white deer that sounded like a horse or Scooby-Doo on crack. <laughs> Either way, coming up for Vignana March, though, we're going to try finding something epic. Something grand. Because, yeah. I need to end this on something memorable. But before that, Goku, any last thoughts on Koi Scent? Please, Mother, may I have more acid-tripping drugs, please? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That was the most weirdest shit that happened. Uh, it definitely was. Realistically speaking, uh, this should have been more than one episode length. It should have been at least twelve episodes. It should, yeah, or at least like three OVAs, because it felt the right. story. The story was, was rushed. rushed. And if you're wondering thoughts on the ending, I'm not going to spoil. It. It's the typical bittersweet yeah. ending. You all know where it's going after. Yep. Like, yeah, it's it's a predictable twenty five minute over. So, watch if you want. That's it. The dub was very okay. Vic had a lot of fun. Lucy Christian had fun. No one had a bad performance here. Everyone was, just did their job. It's very adequate. So. Not. Yes, it is. Except for the not dub singing. No, that shit. <laughs> it is funny how some animes, the, it is dubbed and singing. I. I I can't remember the one I just watched not too long ago was actually dubbed to sing, and I forgot what it was. Well, all I know is this. If Vic was not in this OVA, I probably would have never watched this. So, <laughs> thank you, Vic, for showing us something completely random and completely forgotten. <laughs> but until next time, guys, let us know what you all thought of Koi Scent, if you've even heard of this thing, or if you watched it. Uh... MVP of the dub. Everyone wins. Why the fuck not? I don't know what else to say about this show. I think we're done here. And go, cool. Hopefully next time we could could join us. Be on something cooler. You know, I'm I, always free during the morning when I get out I of mean, work. That's all I mean, you and I are currently watching Gundam the Witch from Mercury together, so I guess yeah. you'll be here for that. Mm-hmm. But yeah. all right, guys. Yep. But thanks again for watching, guys. Hope you all join us next time. And thanks again and all that. Have a good day. And we'll be back next time. So till then. Bye! Goodbye.